What's happening, everybody? It's me, Joe Sires, back here from the Music Factory Studios. <laughs> Trying out some new plugins that uh, I wanted to talk to everybody about. And uh, as we all know, I did a video the other day on some of the Nimbrini audio. And today, when I opened up the App Store, there were a few more that were free. So I grabbed those as well. <laughs> just amazing so we talked about the delay there was today there was a flanger a phaser and uh a couple others uh, oh the guitar eq and i'm trying to remember there was another one and i just can't put my finger on what it was well let's look here <laughs> um but i'm on Embrini audio where you at buddy there you are so the chorus cleaner the delay and the noise gate were free last time. Oh, we got a tremolo. That's right. And the PSA 100 Junior, which is this kind of sans amp distortion kind of thing without a cabinet emulation. It's perfect for bass. There's a stereo version, though, that has some really interesting uh, options with it. And I've used it on desktop. I don't have it for iPad. But it has this widening effect that can make basses bigger than than life and a lot bigger than you can really get them with like modulation tricks and delay you know like um a, a really short delay time spreading and and things of that nature and it works really well right now i'm running through amplitude basically i'm running through my v3 through the standard carbon cab with the ribbon 160 and the dynamic 20 which is uh, an re20 i have no post effects on the only thing i've got going on is this eq and my compressor strings are really old so <laughs> it's causing me to eh, i need to change strings like yesterday but uh i'm going through the delay but on my reverb on my reverb channel i'm actually using ddmf's envelope Pretty much, I'm going to say this without trying to hurt DDMF's feelings. This is a really good, you know, stock, middle of the road reverb. Except for one thing that makes it stand out beyond the rest. Not above the rest, but beyond, far beyond them. Is this exponential decay. So this Expo Decay button does some interesting stuff. So... With it in, you get basically regular reverb. And I, I'd guarantee that most people would have it, ha have this plug in, and it's it's on automatically, and they probably never think to push it. <laughs> push the exponential decay button. So with it in, you basically get the same kind of reverb you, you would expect with these algorithms. Okay, but when you take it out, it takes the delay lines and changes them to some weird logarithmic or, or some kind of decay that's different than the original. So I'm going to show you here 
just what that sort of sounds like. I'm going to mute my microphone for a minute, and I'm going to mess around with the reverb so you can see. Now, the button is over here on the right-hand side. You can see it flashing right now. Okay. When it's in, it's in regular reverb mode. And when it's out, it's in the special kind of envelope mode. Okay. Let me mute my microphone, and let's see what we get. Okay, I'm going to play a single note so you really hear what I'm talking about here. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? That's just amazing. So you can really get in here and tweak with it too and create some really interesting things. Push the depth on up or the reverb length. That'd be really cool for some swell stuff. Kind of like uh, you would come in and do something like. you hear what it's doing it's kind of like a slap back kind of thing that one's not as obvious let's go to large hall here it's regular decay now let's take the regular to collect decay out in back out some get longer some get shorter some get weird little delay times. It's pretty interesting. But I like having the depth kind of in the middle. That way it kind of suddenly cuts off too.
So you kind of hear what he does. Great products from DDMF. You can't go wrong with them. I've got everything they make except for the new compressor. Uh, it's called the, the Magic Eye. I have it for desktop. Don't have it for the iPad. I'm going to pick it up. I just haven't had time to do all that. But, uh, I mean, you can't go wrong with any of it. New York compressor is great. The limiter is awesome. It was one of the first limiters on desktop that I'd used that really made me go, okay, there are better options out there besides we were actually still using a hardware box. <laughs> it was, oh, dang, well, it was an SPL box. And it was a, a hardware a hardware limiter. It was a digital limiter, but it was in a hardware box. And it worked really well. Got things super loud. And this is in the era of, of you know, when the uh, 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 TC Electronics was what a lot of, smaller studios were using for like mastering and and to get their their final you know masters out to to clients that weren't going to professional mastering engineers they were using those tc electronics boxes can't think of the names of those and we bought the spl and it was just cleaner it was really nice it was competing with the hardware waves la2 at the time the max bass or whatever it was called max bass with la2 or l2 in it did I say LA two? <laughs> Boy, I've been in this business way too long. Um, but uh, it was a hardware like Max Bass and a uh, uh, a Renaissance compressor and an L two all in one box. And this SPL was kind of competing with it because it was a single rack use space. It it didn't take up two rack spaces like the Waves model did. And to be honest with you, it blew the doors off the Waves model. But the first comp- the first software limiter that i saw that really really made me go oh yeah this can actually work was the uh, no limits by ddmf and it's amazing you can't go wrong with it and all of their other tools are just they're they're great they're not fancy looking i mean they have that ddmf look to them it's like a little hardware a little you know just plain jane kind of thing going on but hey they get the job done But this has been DDMF's Envelope. It's great. Go grab it. Grab all their other tools as well. And I promise you won't be disappointed. It's great stuff. Also, if it's still free, go over and get the Numbrini Audio plugins. They were in the App Store today. Today is uh, Monday, March 23rd. I hope everybody's being safe out there. Social distancing is a good idea. Six feet away. And if you're playing music with people... Yeah. <laughs> Take your own monitor and get in the another room. <laughs> All right. All right, guys and gals. We'll see y'all next time. Have a great day, y'all.